Hi friends, it is Thursday the 14th of May and this week has been another very heavy admin week even though I didn't think it was going to be. I thought this week I could just get on with some drawing but no. I've had heavy admin, lots of stuff to sort out with um, payments and some other things and then I've also had to do these watercolours kind of arty and that has been good but these need to get out pronto <laughs> basically um i did do a little bit of drawing monday on the b piece wherever that is let me find it for you so my new piece that i've started okay the b piece is actually stuck to my desk so that's great oh, my brain is all over the place um but yeah, the B piece is the newest tutorial that I'll be doing. I'm hoping to actually get it finished. Um, I'm going to try and get these watercolours done now. Like I've got this one to finish, which is stuck to my board here. This is the double one. I've got this one to just paint the dogs. I've got to do the colour on those. And then whilst those are drawing, I'm going to do the pen outline on this one. And then once I've done that, I'm going to hopefully work for about half an hour on the b piece which is mainly just going to be flower so i'm going to show you some process of some painting probably already showed you some process of painting before this clip and then some process of drawing um, but i also have two other outlines um drawn out so i've got this small cat eye study which is going to be a tonal tutorial in the last studio vlog you probably actually saw me color pick for this one so i've picked out three unusual colors so i've got crimson light ultramarine and then phthalo green so some different colors to what i usually do for tonal studies this was requested by my puffins so i'm really looking forward to doing this and this will only take me a couple of hours to record as well which is good and then i've also got a personal project underway which is an iris here i think it's a bearded iris it's some really lovely purple colors i'm looking forward to doing that one as well but the main thing that i need to get done today is to finish off these watercolors so I really need to get on and add the water colour to these dogs, outline that one. I've also finished this small one, which is going with these, these double dogs, so finish this one. So I need to get those done so I can package them up and send them tomorrow. I've also got a couple of orders to package up, but they won't they won't matter until after I've done this watercolour session. Um, but yeah, what I had planned was actually to order some wildflower seeds because I really want to include some plantable wildflower paper in some of my orders but only specific orders so I want to include this paper thing in pollinators cards so anybody that orders the bee card the butterfly card and when I eventually finish this bee that card and also any kind of botanical drawings as well because it kind of makes sense to have that but i just thought it'd be a fun little freebie and i really just want to have a go and try and make some plantable wildflower paper and see how it goes i might even start to like make a wrap for cards that is the plantable thing so it's not an added like expense or extra and then it's kind of utilized for the card as well as being something that you can use in your garden so I really want to have a go at that. I'm going to have a look at some YouTube tutorials, I think. Um, so I, I know how to like add the seeds to do the paper, but I'm not actually sure in the process of like making your own paper and that kind of thing. So I'm going to give it a look up and see if I can do that because I think it would be really fun to add to orders and I just want to give it a go. But let's do some watercolouring first. Also, I just wanted to give you guys an update on my garden. <laughs> because I know some of you are interested. So a lot has gone on, I'm sorry for the bird crap on the window, but a lot has gone on in my garden and it's not very sunny today so it's not showing it off to its full potential, but you can see that the shed has now gone. So I've got all of that room at the back and I'm kind of, I've kind of put my um, table and chairs at the back there so it's like a seated area. I've got some more pots and stuff. I'm kind of um, weathering out some of these items here so I can eventually plant them out um, but yeah I've also got a mended fence as well so the old shed panels 
I put in to here. So this is just the shed which I've used to mend my fence. <laughs> so yeah, that's how the garden is looking now. I'm really really pleased with it, it's coming along and I just need to dig some borders and stuff and start putting some plants in now. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground The 16th of May, I've literally just got up because I need to package some orders and I need to go to the post box and I'm going on an early morning walk today because I overdid it yesterday with um, exercise and uh, gardening. <laughs> um, so today I am going to take an early morning stroll. Um, I might have a little walk around the graveyard because we have a, a cemetery just up the road so I might just take a stroll like up to there and then around there and then come home and then hopefully that's like quite a lot of steps and exercise this morning and then I'm going to potentially depending on the weather I'm going to record for a little while because I should be back by half past nine I'm going to record for a little while get some of the bee tutorial done um, and then I can spend some time in the garden if the weather is nice but it looks quite overcast today it's supposed to be quite hot um, I don't know whether that's going to clear up or what hopefully it does because I really want to get out there and um, finish off some bits that I started yesterday but yeah I'm just going to take it easy today with exercise <laughs> um, but yeah I've got some orders to package so I've got a couple of Etsy orders, I'm just trying to find them now, and then I've got some website orders as well which I need to send off. So I'm going to print them all out, but my printer has run out of ink, so I need to change the ink cartridge. Um, and yeah, um, let's do some packaging together. <laughs> Falling down, 
Even if the sky is falling down Everything is now packed up. I can pop to the post box with those. Um, I just wanted to mention, um, I woke up the other morning, was it yesterday morning? Yeah, yesterday morning, to um, some YouTube comments, as I usually do, you know, just read through them and see what they're, see what they're like. And there was one saying um, about my arms. It was a comment on a dry blending technique method video from ages ago and basically the comment was to shave my my effing arms you animal um so uh yeah thank you for that comment luckily i'm in a good frame of mind at the moment and i didn't let it get to me because usually stuff like that would make me feel really self-conscious and yeah but I'm in a good frame of mind at the moment and I was just like I don't care if my arms are even like hairy I'm a dark haired person what the hell do you expect like and people have um naturally have hair on their arms so like what are you getting at I just I could not believe the fact that somebody would comment something like that, especially on an art video that isn't even related to anything like that. It's like commenting on your ha on my hands and saying, like, oh, your arm hands are really ugly. It's like, it's art. Who cares? Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I just couldn't understand why people feel the need to comment stuff like that. Like, would you say that to my face? I mean, some people probably would, but would you? I don't know. And I was just kind of like, I felt kind of sorry for the person that left the comment because I was like, obviously you've got nothing good going for you if you have to comment on somebody's arms on YouTube um, and try and bring them down. But luckily, as I said, good frame of mind. I'm feeling good about myself at the moment and everything. And I don't care if I have hair on my arms. Everybody does. <laughs> I know there's a phase right now of like people shaving their arms and stuff and like I know people shave their legs and other things but arms really is that a thing now <laughs> um but yeah I just I thought I'd bring that up because don't do it guys don't be that person on the other end of the computer on their keyboard trying to bring someone else down because if I wasn't in a good frame of mind that would have brought me down and I would have felt like crap. And it's just little comments like that that can bring somebody down. So don't, especially in like at this particular time when everybody is stuck indoors and mental health is a real thing that we should be looking at. So don't do that, please. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go to the post box with the hair still attached to my arms and it's going to keep me warm whilst I'm outside. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. 